Now we're uh, at the upper half of the harp. I'm not going to bother lifting it up on the table anymore because I can reach in here very easily uh, when it's sitting on a stool. So I push the next string through. We're at the 32 thousandths size and tie my knot the same way, you know, with a bead and then uh, the overhand knot and then the loop to make a bow. Pull it tight and add the drop of super glue. And here again, these strings are so long that I'm going to do two at a time. Thread the other end through the next hole. Add the bead. Tie the overhand knot. And uh, put the little bow on it. Let's see. Pull it tight. And then I put super glue on. So here again, I'm putting two strings out, out of one length of nylon. The technique is the same. I'm winding the, the string around the tuning pin as it has been all along. We wrap toward the wood. And then we get a little, a couple of wraps on there. Then we hold the string outward and it crosses over the wrap. By the way, sometimes I find a bead that's uh, not open all the way through. It's hard to get the string through. I just set that aside, and when I get to the higher strings, generally I can get it through. Otherwise, sometimes I'll have to poke it with a needle or something like that. Now we're ready for the top four strings, just four that. But there's a special trick to installing these really thin strings. They're so fine that uh, when you tie the knot, uh, the knot is not, isn't big enough to uh, be held by that bead. So I tie the overhand knot and then I push the end in like this. But I want to beef up that knot a little bit more. But I uh, dug in the trash and got a uh, scrap from one of the bigger strings at the bottom of the harp. And I will poke that into the knot and tighten it. And now I don't need this long of a piece, of course. So I'll cut it off. But then my knot is going to be nice and bulky here. It'll never pull through the bead. Uh, again, I've put uh, super glue up on top there just to secure it. And then I can pull through. And uh, since my string is so long, I'm going to go ahead and do the next clear one. Now we've got strings on this whole harp. It's time to tune it up. I want to caution you that you won't finish tuning the whole harp before the first strings go out of tune uh, because the nylon is very stretchy material. And so it's going to take several tunings before it'll hold pitch. And that's not an, it doesn't reflect on how well you strung the harp necessarily. It always happens. Uh, it just takes a while for that nylon to settle. So I have one that's in tune here. And we will use that as our guide. So we start on the low G.
is that I pluck the string before I turn the, the wrench. That way I can hear what's happening. And I, can, and I know how far to, to go before I stop. <clears throat> if you don't pluck it while you're turning, you might turn too far. Like say I do this one, the F, and I just turn like this. How do I know if I've gone? I've gone too far, see? I've gone higher than the F. So you let the string ring while you turn the pin. Just keep going up the scale so that you can match your harp to the correct pitch. Now notice I'm going quickly, I'm not really double checking. It's, uh, it's kind of silly to double check this early in the game. When you get to uh, uh, maybe your tenth tuning, you want to take more time and get it uh, more accurate. Use an electronic tuner, for example. Like I say, it's useless, to, uh, or it's kind of pointless to use an electronic tuner at this point because the instrument goes out of tune so quickly. You know, the the G is already low, and so I wouldn't bother taking the time to get absolute perfect perfection on your pitch because it isn't going to last five minutes. So you might as well just get it up close and then start over, do it again or let it sit for a few hours and do it again. It's going to take it's going to take 50 tunings for the harp to really stabilize. So the more you tune it, the faster it'll be ready to play. Uh, you can play it after about 10 or 15 tunings, but it, it's going to go out of tune you know, within a, an hour or so. So <clears throat> take uh, you know make sure to spend a little time every day tuning the harp and it'll stabilize nicely. Oh, any questions, give us a call at Music Makers, 800-432-5487, uh, and or send us an email. We're happy to help you, uh, help you through the project and make sure you end up with a playable instrument. Thanks very much.